here particularly to announce uh, our food assessment that we have been working on now for a few years, uh, something we've been working on throughout the community to begin with an assessment of where we are in terms of our food, both our food availability, our food production locally, um, and, um, and what we can do uh, to really improve our food resources in the city uh, and to be able to provide for more self-sufficiency uh, within our region. I'd say one of the most impactful things about the community food assessment is not only how comprehensive it's been and how long we've really been looking at each facet of our food system to how we're growing food to how we're accessing food and then what's happening to food waste but it's it allows us to really identify those strengths that we have in the community like great groups like Re real food rising and hildegards as well as those weaknesses like the lack of access to food and how to connect all those dots we have noticed where those weakens weaknesses are as well in terms of diet related diseases we have a higher rate of diabetes here in Salt Lake City than we do nationally. We have a difficulty with a lot of our families, as, as Lydia mentioned, accessing healthy foods. And what we want to start looking at as, as we move forward with this um, food assessment is how can we start leveraging more of these organizations and connecting them all together to reduce that? How do we work more closely with our health departments and the resources that are available in terms of we have a lot of nutritional classes that are available, a lot of assistance for people to learn more about nutrition. How do we connect that to those who are dealing with diabetes or having trouble accessing healthy foods? One of the things we've been doing with the rewrites of our ordinances locally in Salt Lake City is to identify where we get in the way of people producing their own food, selling their own food, um, and in providing neighborhood environments, commercial environments, that provide for the range of services people need. Our goal at Real Food Rising is to eliminate the hunger issue in Utah, and our focus, therefore, is to promote three ideas, sustainable, local, and organic. At Real Food Rising, we have made good strides toward achieving this goal by connecting with the local community and offering our services to hunger relief organizations and other community farms and community gardens. Um, we also use sustainable agriculture to uh, grow a variety of produce and we donate about 80% of what we grow. Through my experiences with volunteering at Hildegard's and, and St. Vincent's de Paul's, I believe that advocating local food systems and community gardens are precisely what needs to be done to address Utah's hunger issues. Local food is healthier, it's more energy efficient, and connects people together in a particularly special community. I don't have enough time to stress how important it is to buy local food, and also how important it is that local food is accessible to places like Hildegard's and St. Vincent's de Paul. Well, one of the things I think that is key to a livable city, which is the goal and the theme for Salt Lake City moving into our future, uh, is to have locally produced, locally available food. And we do that in a number of ways. The city's role is to help support organizations like Wasatch Community Gardens, to support the food banks, the Hildegard Kitchen like we have here, um, and to then provide information so we can coordinate and integrate better. Um, and then it's, I think it's, it's also important for us to do what we're doing here today, which is letting the community know of the enormous need out there that we all have a responsibility to participate in and to help in.